And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a manual cross-processing effect. All that we need is the curves adjustment layer. Let me just copy the original and I apply it. So we go to colors, there's the curves. We've got different channels. The value is basically the general channel, but you can use the drop down to go to RGB and select all of these channels individually. For red, you want to do it like this. I can even go a little bit further here. We're going to inverse this for blue, but first let's go to green. And here we want to have the typical S shape. So you go down with the shadows and up with the highlights so that it has an S form. And now finally, as I've said, we'll go to blue and inverse it. So we'll drag it up on the left hand side and down on the right hand side. And you can adjust the values according to your needs. If you want to have it more extreme, just go to a more extreme angle here. Afterwards, you can use the general channel, the value channel, and give it a little bit of a milky look by simply dragging up the shadows and then go to around, what is it, 25%, create a second point and keep it there. And this is typically the look of this cross-processing effect. Once again, you only need the curves. Blue is the inverse of red and green has an S shape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.